Did you ever wish that you could have a three point light kit in your camera backpack and still be able to have your camera, your lenses and accessories in the same bag? Well, you won't be able to do it with a standard 100 watt light. And that's why the latest 100 watt and 60 watt lights from Julian are so unique and perfect for on the go creators that want to have a portable yet powerful kit. This is the X100 and the G60. I can easily fit two of the X100s into the slim compartment of the Peter McKinnon camera backpack together with the side grip batteries as well as the G60 light and the power bank to power it. I still have plenty of space to fit my Lumix S5 Mark II, a few lenses and a few accessories that I might need. On the outside compartment of my backpack, I have the power brakes in case I need to run these lights off mains and a few GN accessories that we'll talk about a bit later. First, let's talk about the X100s. It's a 100 watt COB light. It has a very slim design, adjustable color temperature from 2700 to 6500 and has Bluetooth control. The COB light chip is surrounded by a heatsink as well as a fan. And because of this open design, the fan is actually able to cool down this 100 watt light. So 1%, 50%, so this is 100 watts in such a small tiny package. The design and build quality feels and looks premium, so you can expect this light to last a long time. There are a few combos for the light, which include different accessories. And by the way, affiliate links to all the products I talk about here are down in the description below. You can use them to help support the channel. The kit I have here comes with a battery, which mounts directly onto the X100. The battery is able to run this light at 100 watts for 30 minutes or at 50 watts for one hour. The battery itself has an in and out USB-C port, so you can charge it via USB, but you can also use the USB port to power the lights or even charge your phone. But it comes with a limited 30 watts output. The X100 also comes with a power cable, which is a bit big, but you do need it to support the 100 watts. The power cable plugs into the bottom of the light, but as you can see, the light also supports power via USB. And that means if you have a smaller USB-C power brick that can support 100 watts, you can definitely use that with this light. And you can also use a 100 watt power delivery power bank with the X100 to run it at full power. You just need to make sure you have a 100 watt compatible USB-C cable. The cool thing is you can actually use a lower powered power bank, like a 30 watt power bank, to power this light and it'll still work just at 30%. In the box you'll also find a reflector as well as a strap so you can mount this and look like you're holding a camera. Actually I think both lights look like cameras. The X100 has more of a vintage vibe but the G60 has more of a Red Komodo Stormtrooper vibe. So the G60 is a 60 watt COB light. It also has Bluetooth control with color temperature adjustment from 2700 to 6500. Apart from the looks, the main difference is that it doesn't come with a battery. So you'll be powering this one by a power adapter or USB-C. The X100 battery will actually work with the G60, but it will only be able to run at half power, so 30 watts. So you'll need a 60 watt power delivery power bank or higher to be able to run the G60 at full power. I really like the tiny cube design. This is definitely the smallest 60 watt light I held in my hands. It also has this little arm mount that pops down and you can mount this onto a light stand. In the box, the G60 comes with a reflector as well as a soft diffusion dome for the reflector and a power brick. There are also a few additional accessories that you can get for these lights. Julian has sent me a few of them, so let's check them out. First of all, we have this mini extension pole, which is perfect for Hollywooding the light and holding it up above your talent. There are also the small tripod legs that you can screw into the bottom so you can place down the whole setup. I think this is really great for small scale lighting setups like doing a miniature shoot. And you can also get a ball head to get a more precise control over the light's position, especially for the X100 as it only has two screws down the bottom, while the G60 has the positioning L bracket. Next up we have mini light zone. This is probably the smallest and cutest light dome I've ever seen. It does a decent job at diffusing the light and it also comes with a mini grid for directing the light. Another accessory is this dome diffusion. It is similar to the one that comes with the G60 light. It's just a bit bigger. This will produce a wider beam angle than the light dome, but it'll still give you a nice soft light. If you want to take these lights to another level with accessories, you can also use universal balance mounts. There are two types of adapters. Type A only works with the G60 light. It can get a little bit closer to the lights and have a wider beam angle. And type Type B works with both of the lights, but it's mostly made for the X100 because it has extra space to allow the cooling fan to work a lot better. At the moment, I'm actually using the X100 as my key light together with the Type B bounce mount adapter and a big light dome. 100 watts is plenty powerful to be an indoor key light, even when passing through the fusion. 
60 watts I would mostly use as a hair light or a backlight, but if you're in a pinch and you have some faster glass, 60 watt will definitely be enough as a key light. And last but not least, there's a bracket to join multiple lights together. For example, you can have two X100 lights combined for double the power. Let me know in the comments which light is your favorite, the tiny G60 cube or the slim X100. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.